Hi, this is a short video tutorial where I explain an advanced wireless technology called MIMO. Let me begin by talking about a basic wireless communication system which consists of a transmitter and a receiver. The transmitter has data that it wants to communicate to the receiver. The data could be your social media updates, news feeds, a web page, or voice packets of your phone conversation. The transmitter and the receiver are separated by the wireless channel which consists of everything between the transmitter and the receiver, that is, buildings, cars, planes, trains, people, and the air. The transmitter has a limited amount of maximum power and maximum bandwidth that it can use to transmit the data. Each time the signal is transmitted, it is disturbed by the environment, and hence by the time it arrives at the receiver, it may not have the same form and can be interpreted incorrectly. For example, an A can be interpreted as a B. One possible solution to have more reliable communication with high data rates is to have multiple antennas at the transmitter and the receiver. This framework is called MIMO, which stands for Multiple Input, Multiple Output. A MIMO system is able to deliver high data rates and increased reliability as it takes advantage of the multi-paths that exist between the various transmitters and the receivers. There are many advanced techniques that have been developed for this purpose. Here I will briefly explain the two basic techniques, that is, beamforming and multiplexing. Here we have an E-Node B or cell tower on the left and a mobile phone or UE on the right. The first technique is called multiplexing. In multiplexing, the transmitter increases the effective data rate by sending parallel streams of data on different antennas at the same time. Here the streams are represented by the blue and the green arrows. The second technique is called beamforming. As the name suggests, in beamforming, the transmitter focuses narrow signal beams in the direction of the receiver, thus enhancing the signal reliability. Beamforming requires that the transmitter knows the wireless channel. Sometimes it is possible to offer a combination of beamforming and multiplexing to enhance the data rate and reliability simultaneously. Today, MIMO is incorporated in most consumer wireless devices, for example, Wi-Fi 802.11n and 4G LTE mobiles. MIMO has been standardized in LTE release 8 and 10 in various configurations. Basically, with each new release, the number of antennas has increased, thus enabling high data rates and increased reliability. MIMO LTE release 8 has a maximum of 4x4 antennas. Enhanced MIMO LTE release 10 has a maximum of 8x8 antennas. To summarize, MIMO is able to deliver reliable communication and high data rates. MIMO hardware upgrades and antennas can be expensive. MIMO will continue to be an important part of future wireless network. Thank you very much for your attention.